You should know by now what Pythagoras theorem is and how to use it. But if you'd like to refresh your memory, watch this video. So, we know that if we have a right angle triangle with the sides A, B and C, where side C is opposite the right or 90 degree angle, then C squared equals A squared plus B squared. But what's it used for? One useful thing you can use Pythagoras theorem for is to find the distance between two points using their coordinates. If you don't know how to work with coordinate plane, watch this video. But if you know what it is, let's try to find the distance between two arbitrary points. Assuming that we have two points, A with coordinates 5, 2 and B with coordinates 9, 5, what's the distance between them? Or in other words, what is the length of the line segment AB? The problem is that we don't know how to count distance diagonally yet, only using axis. But Pythagoras' theorem can fix that. First, let's find horizontal and vertical distances between the two points. We need two additional lines for that. Let's name the intersection point C. The angle ACB is the right angle, or 90 degree angle. So, BC equals 5 minus 2, which equals 3, and AC equals 9 minus 5, which is equal to 4. Does it remind you of something? Yes, we've got two sides for Pythagoras' theorem, so now we can use it to find the third one. So the length of AB is the square root of 25, which equals 5. Let's summarize. How can we find the distance between two points? Well, it's pretty easy. First, find the horizontal distance between the points. Then, find the vertical distance between the points. And finally, use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse, which is the distance we are looking for. For those of you who like formulas, here's what it is. If we have two points, A and B, then we can always use the following formula to find the distance between these points. This looks scary, doesn't it? But let's gather our courage and look closer. This is just another representation of Pythagoras' theorem. So why do we do all these strange things? Because now we can find the distance between objects even without drawing them. You may say, but we like drawing graphs. It's fun. Well, not everyone likes pictures. For example, computers hate pictures because they don't even understand what they're looking at. But they like numbers and they can count really fast. Computers know the position of the object because they know its coordinates. And that makes our lives easier because we can explain to our computers what the distance is using this scary formula. So let's use it. Imagine that we are playing a very easy computer game. There are two objects on the screen, a boy and a zombie. The boy is trying to run away from the zombie. If at any point in time the distance between the boy and the zombie becomes less than 20 points, it catches the boy and forces him to do maths exercises. But if the boy runs away, increasing the distance to more than 100 points from the monster, he escapes and wins. Our computer only knows the coordinates of the boy and the zombie. But we now know that this is the only data it needs to find the distance. So our command to the computer will look like this. If the value of this expression is less than 20, go and study maths. And if the value of this expression is more than 100, then the player wins. Let's play. Help the computer find the result of the game. If the zombie's coordinates are 19, 28, and the boy's coordinates are 31 and 37. You aren't a computer, so feel free to use any method you like. And that's how Pythagoras helped us create computer games. Don't forget to thank him next time you play one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.